all the Yankon uh, 2 series tilt rotators are equipped with a um, progressive central greasing system. So we have just one greasing point for all the tilt rotator, except for the grab cylinders and so on. So they have a separate greasing. Uh, first of all, obviously, you might just make a visual check if you see some part which is full of grease and other parts are very dry. So you can mm -hmm. see if maybe one of the hoses for the central greasing are, is broken or whatever. Uh, you can try to pull a little bit on them. You check that all the greases are fine. You check that this greaser, the central, the main greaser is fine and not leaking any grease out. Uh, then you can see over here and all the units, see if there's grease coming out on all the parts. Mm -hmm. uh, the big advantage of the progressive system is that when there's a grease uh, point that is plugged, all the system will stop and you will notice, okay, there's a problem somewhere. So you have to fault search and to, to fix it before you can keep on working. And uh, to do that, the easiest way is to try to grease. If it's blocked, then you can start disconnecting one hose or one greaser, mm -hmm. greasing point after the other one to just see if, uh, if uh, it's working afterwards. And to disconnect them, you see this one here, for example, you have this golden ring. You just oh, push so in the golden ring and right. then you can pull them out. So and like to a, put it back in, you just pull them in and then they're back tight. So it's like that a, they're all a, in. a quick connector. Yeah, it's like yeah. a quick connector. So that way you can just disconnect all the greases. Mm -hmm. And once it starts greasing, uh, once it works, so you take away one, you start greasing. If it works, then you will oh, see that to. this greaser <laughs> might be might be a problem. Yeah, if you don't manage to do it by hand, you can use a plier and just pull this one a little bit down and then you pull it ah, out right. with a plier. Just don't squeeze the, 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 hose. the hose too much. Yeah. Okay. So you go all through all the greasing points and if this is working fine, then you obviously should be able to grease continuously without anything blocking or anything. So uh, yeah, obviously like a normal greaser on the machine, you just put the grease on, you put some grease inside. Yeah, and the then you check on all the greasing on. points if there's grease coming out and you grease until it's clean. And once the grease has come out and it's a clean grease coming out, then you clean around and make sure that there's no leftover grease mm -hmm. around. Also, when you take away this one, obviously this one you want to clean it afterwards. So you clean the greasing point because you don't want to have any dust or moisture fixed on that. And I guess it's enough for just using a bit of paper then? Yeah, it's fine with paper. Or normally you have a wiper or something and just yeah. clean it up. All and right. if you have a protection cap, you can put a protection cap on it. Mm -hmm. So you make sure it's clean the next time you use it. As I said before, on the grabs and so on, you have separate grease points. And one is down here on the bottom. And the other one is on the bottom here. And then you have one here on the grab arm. And it's the same for the other side. So you have three greasers on the, on the grabs on each side. So a total six greasers, which you have to take care of. Mm 